this is the client server model. Now the client server model differs from the peer to peer model where basically each computer shares its resources both as client as a server to each other. In the client server model, there are many nodes and they all access their resources from different servers on the network for files, mail, web, database and printers. So if we're going to take a look at it, we'll first have to establish our nodes on a network. So there could be a countless amount of nodes on a network. These are all going to act as the clients. Basically, no resources are directly attached to these nodes. Instead, what they're going to do is access their resources from a specific location. So, for example, if one of these nodes needs to save a file, it will save it to a networked file server. Okay, in this case, it could be the H drive. Now, the H drive could be used for all accounts, while another file server could be used for all products in the database. Okay, so these are centralized locations for saving data. Each of these computers can then access that data from different terminals. Another type of server could be the print server, so that when one of these computers needs to print, they can all access the same printer, instead of them all having their own printer, saving time and cost of having multiple printers. Okay, a web server is set up so that all these computers can get onto the internet, okay, and have accounts all through the one location. There also can be mail servers so that these computers can go to one centralized location and access their mail. And finally, there can also be database servers so that one uh, computer enters into the database and does a search or updates the file. Once it's saved, all the other computers have that file set, uh, updated file when they need to use it. So understand the advantages of the client server model by having centralized servers once these client computers save their data, the data is then updated for all the other client computers when they need to access it. So there is no duplication of data, there's no duplication of hardware or software because all data, hardware and software is being accessed at one centralized location on the actual network. So understand the advantages of the client server model.